close us up here finally. Uh, and, and thank you very much. And let's get a, a round for our, our um, First of all, <laughs> we went over all these best practices. Make sure we go over them again as you're pursuing new contract opportunities. Request bid documents when they're ready. Obviously, we've identified future opportunities. Now you need to stay abreast and keep aware of those. Make sure you're looking at the addenda and RFIs, as, as was mentioned, so you don't have any uh, surprises. Uh, we heard about unknowns and unforeseen conditions. We want to do everything we can to eliminate those. We want to make sure, and this was another thing, is a lot of our small firms are being contacted when, when they're looking at budgets, when they're looking for those early estimates. Our goal is to have you be a part of that process. One of the challenges that our small firms have is responsiveness, being able to turn it over quick enough so they can call a McKinstry and get their numbers, but can they get that same responsiveness from our airflow? That's what we're trying to do. We want to make sure that we are empowering our small firms to do that. So make sure you're getting your RFIs in. Make sure you're reviewing the substitution so you know how you can best position yourself. And those of you who don't know, we just talked about that Hoffman doesn't always win the, the contracts when they bid on the areas that they're self-performing. Well, they bid on this project, the SPU <coughs> North Henderson project, which they are a GCCM. However, the low, which was the low bidder, a low apparent bidder, wasn't responsible when it came to their outreach method approach. Mm -hmm. So guess what? They're rebidding it. So tomorrow, there's going to be a rebid, very specific for that. So agencies are taking this seriously now. Mm -hmm. um, request key, list of key team members. You just met a bunch of Hoffman uh, team members that are very important in this organization. And look at over projects. Hey, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. We have your contact <laughs> information. <laughs> um, again, request a list of those first-tier contractors that are going to be pursuing you may not know who's on the list right now, but you know who's been in the past. And this is information, good insight, so we can be uh, proactive in, in introducing and marketing our companies to them. Not just Hoffman, but their first-tier vendors. And obviously, Hoffman is, is aware of all of you who've participated. Make sure you've signed in. <laughs> in our workshop, and we'll be passing that information to our preferred vendors. Confirm your current and future cash flow position, the bonding, your insurance uh, information. What I always do, and I'm a former general contractor as well, think like a contractor. Send that insurance information to your broker. Let them be the ones to interpret it. Don't you interpret it. Let your broker do that work. Confirm the site uh, conditions. If you're not able to get out there, get someone in your company to get out there and take some pictures. Google Earth is great, but it's a lot better when you get your own boots on the, on the concrete and walk the site. Understand what limitations could impact your productivity and your profitability. Delivery, staging, security, all these things, environmental concerns, politics, guess what? It does impact our projects, whether it's funding or uh, sometimes there's uh, uh, challenging language that they have to negotiate with legislators. Submit scope letter before you submit your bid. That will give Chris and others an opportunity to say, you know what, I was looking at that, I'm glad you put that in your scope letter because I forgot about that. And now you've empowered Chris. Is Chris going to make sure that everybody of his project management team know about you? Yes, he sure is. Why? Because you're reducing his risk. And that's really important for us. Um, again, here's our contact information. Uh, we are very pleased to be able to offer this. We're going we're gonna, to uh, reproduce this. Unfortunately, you cannot see this very well, so I'm going to read it to you. Today was our first class. Uh, the next class will be estimating in the GCC environment that's going to focus on the bidding and bid prep assistant piece. So now you've identified these projects. Now <coughs> there'll be a continuation. We're calling this the active professional development series, meaning this is going to be ongoing. We're not just going to say goodbye. We want to stay with you and have and record the growth and the challenges so we can make sure we're fine-tuning things. So we want to hear back from you. OMWBE certification workshop. Those of you who aren't certified or have people that you think may be eligible or maybe you want to diversify, 
come to that next workshop. Streamlining your organization, leveraging technology and cloud-based applications. You've heard technology like Bluebeam being used. They are doing some sophisticated things right now where all you have to do is go to your tablet and you can see all the specifications, all the communications back and forth, all the field directives, all the RFIs, all the apps <coughs> built, all the submittals, all the commissioning information, all in one place. That workforce development as it relates to resources and training, target marketing and strategic advertising, uh, introduction to alternative works. Rory just mentioned job order contracting and design build is another alternative app works application that Hoffman is an expert in and they do hundreds of millions of dollars in work across the three states uh, in that area as well. So that may be something that we'll want to talk about in future classes. And finally, how do the RCWs and WAC impact your firm? These are all things that aren't necessarily being <coughs> communicated or educated by other construction organizations but this one views it as important to the whole industry as a whole, as well as uh, our being able to create successful best practices so you can take this on the road. And not just with Hoffman, but we would love for you to be very successful here, but we'd like you to take this on the road. And I've been taking the workshop many years with Turner, with all those, but this is the best workshop I ever had in my life. You just gave me goosebumps, did you? Now you can have an extra sound.